Why is it that every time we try to change our diets to eat more healthily, the doctors advise that we go from regular potatoes to sweet potatoes? You guys, I don't know what to do with these. I see Jory put them in the air fryer and make wedges, but he always overdoes them and they're burnt. So I don't want to try that today. Today I'm going to make up something on my own and we're going to try this sweet potato with curry and spinach. Let's get started. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you want to learn how to cook in simple steps and have your dishes come out great the first time, then you're in the right place. Learn to make restaurant-style meals, comfort foods, and authentic Belizean dishes from basic ingredients. Before we get into the video, guys, I wanted to take a moment to thank all my old subscribers for sticking with me throughout the years and also to welcome all my brand new subscribers. I also want to let you guys know that throughout the whole Christmas and holiday season, I'll be promoting small businesses right here on the show. So if you are subscribed to my channel and you have a small business, be it a brick and mortar business or an online business, hit me up in my email, bearpantryshow at gmail.com and check below for you know for all the information and we will figure how to get you promoted. So the first business that I want to promote today in this video is Miriam's business. Miriam is my Uncle Roger's girlfriend and the business is called Bella's Delight. Take a look at what happened to them in November, guys. There was a hurricane that kind of breezed through the Caribbean and Belize got a lot of flooding in the area where they're located, which is the San Ignacio district. It got super flooded and the water came all the way up to the roof of the building. They had to. They were lucky enough to take everything out. Well, they weren't lucky. They, they were wise enough to take everything out before the floods came because this had happened before a few years ago. And the only thing they couldn't remove is the air conditioning. So they had to get that fixed. They had to wait for the water to recede for the walls to dry out and stuff. And then they went ahead and painted and it took weeks for them to open back up. They just barely opened this past weekend. And I want you guys to stop by if you're in the Sanding Nassau district, check below to see the exact location. And look at the building right here. It has the number on it so you can call to see if they have the stuff that you want. But take a look. You see all the stuff going by, right? All these sweets, cheesecake, all type of cake, cupcake. And of course, Christmas is coming. So Miriam is going to have black cakes, you know, for the Christmas. If you guys don't want to make your own black cake and you're in Belize. And then look, they also have the decorations to go on the cake, you know, the candles and stuff. It's a one-stop shop for everything that you need, for everything delightful and sweet for the holiday season, all right? So when you stop by, tell Miriam or Roger that Barbara or Babs from the Bear Pantry Show sent you. Now let's get into the video. I'm just going to be using one potato in this recipe today, guys. Sweet potato is very hard, so I have to use my big knife to go ahead and cut it up. Let me go ahead and light the stove. I have a pot of water on the stove. And then I'm going to continue peeling. Get the skin off. Hey guys, Barbara here popping into the video really quickly to remind you that I have two cookbooks for sale. Beans and Rice Volume 2 is my Belizean cookbook and it has 120 authentic Belizean dishes. This one, The Pantry Laid Bear, is my brand new cookbook and it has 111 of the best dishes that I've done on the show that are not my Belizean dishes, all right? Check below to see how to purchase. I've washed off the potatoes, but in hindsight, I shouldn't have done that at this point because now they're slippery. So when you do yours, chop up the potatoes first and then rinse it off, okay? So I'm doing bite-sized chunks. I don't want the pieces to be too small though because I don't want uh, the potato to get too soft and mushy. All right, so now let's take a look at what we're gonna use for spices. Salt and black pepper, of course. Maybe this cayenne for sure. Some onion powder. And I don't want to use stuff like thyme and stuff like that because I don't really like the taste of these things right here. But I definitely want some basil. Let me grab my basil right here. And of course, some curry. Now let's go ahead and put our potato pieces into the boiling water. Try not to splatter it all over my camera lens, of course. Okay, let's go ahead and salt the water. If you've ever wanted to know anything about Belize guys, this is your one-stop shop right here, the Belize X Belize blog. Take a look at what's on the front page alone, a wealth of information. And of course, you can pick up your beach towels right here. Look how beautiful they are and I like the fact that they're round. Don't worry guys, we're all going to be going back to the beach in 2021, so pick up your beach towels now. This is the information on travel. Right here, the Belize district is where Joe and I are from. 
and of course the Creole language a whole page on the Creole language all right so check out the blog guys the link is in the description these are the spices that I chose I have ricotta cayenne curry powder onion powder basil salt and black pepper everything is one teaspoon except for the cayenne which is half a teaspoon and the curry powder which is two teaspoons now let's see if the potatoes are fork tender I mean they're okay but I think they need about 10 more minutes 10 minutes later I'm making some vegetable stock on the left of the stove all right I found a few pieces of vegetables that I'm using to make the stock let me go ahead and drain this in the colander you saw that I peeled and diced and boiled those potatoes for how long 20 plus 10, 30 minutes all right so I've washed the spinach I've seen some people uh, cook spinach like with the big leaves in the thingy, whatever they're doing, casserole or whatever. I don't like it like that. I like it to be minced. Well, not minced, but chopped. All right. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, you can see this. All right. I'm glad you can see this. So I'm just kind of loosely chopping it up. And these potatoes are very fork tender. I didn't want them to go longer than that because they would get too mushy. That's what Joe was trying to tell me just now in the opening. You're going to see it at the end. I think I'm going to put that footage at the end. He was saying, hey, why don't you squish them like mashed potatoes? Because they're gross. All right. I think somebody came home. So the spinach is all chopped up. And I think I'm going to grab some of these green tomatoes out of this blend right here. This symphony. Because I never really eat them unless I'm cooking them in eggs. I don't eat them just like that. In the Goodness, they only had one? How horrible for me thinking I'm grabbing some of them. I'm grab these yellow ones then, okay? They only have one green one in there. Welcome to the symphony. Do they get ripe when they sit there, guys? Okay, so I'm just going to cut them in half. I'm trying to use my knife that Joe gave me for my birthday. The green one I'm going to cut in three. Okay, so I figure, you know what, this dish could be vegan. My, my instinct is to make this with some coconut milk, but these American doctors, they seem to have an aversion against anything coconut they feel like it's bad for you and i'm whole caribbean so we know that coconut is really good for you so i'm not gonna let them get to me i'm, I'm gonna do it differently today just for today all right so let me get my pot all right i want this pot right here what do i want this pot yeah so what i did was i boiled some peppers and a red cabbage and some carrots and i made my own vegetable stock okay usually i do it better than that but for right now this is what we have let me go ahead and pour it out. It's still warm. This night shall be the birth night of Christ our heavenly King. <laughs> I'm singing while I cook today. I'm in a good mood today, guys. I got motivated. I got some mojo to do my show because my friend Lisa. Hey, Lisa, I did a whole show on this yesterday. She sent me a wonderful gift. I'm going to show you guys again in case you didn't see the show. And it really motivated me. She said, keep up the good work. So I think she knows that I struggle. So I have some onion, not a whole lot. And if you have green onions, use that too, okay? All right, so let me grab my um, olive oil. Oh, that has water, hold on. It's wet. You know, oil and water don't mix. Put a little bit of olive oil. Is it light? No. Let's put the olive oil first, like a tablespoon. That's a healthy fat, right? We have to do healthy fat, healthy carb. Oh, come on, please, don't embarrass me like this. This little um, strikey thing right here is $60. I am buying that right now. This still works. Okay, when I come back, we'll be putting some stuff in the pot. So I put a little bit of olive oil in the pot, about a tablespoon, and I'm starting off with the onion first. Look, my friend Lisa gave me a set of these utensils, and I love them. It has the Bear Pantry Show logo on it. 
So let me go ahead and stir with my wooden spatula. And now I'm adding in the spice in no particular order, okay? I'm just grabbing what's near me. Dump everything in. And after I get the curry in, I'm not going to use my beautiful spatula to stir anymore because I don't want it to get stained already. So I'm just going to use this spatula right here. So let me grab some of that broth that I made. And it's purple looking because I found um, a purple cabbage, a red cabbage I should say, <laughs> to put in there to, to give it some color. Okay, now for the spinach. See how fast we're moving? So we have to have everything prepared, right? I'm going to add the tomatoes in last. So now here is one can of tomato paste. Okay, give it a stir. Let's taste. Spicy. A little bit more of the broth. And you could easily replace the broth for water, okay? Now the tomatoes. And then the only thing left to throw in the pot would be the boiled potatoes. So let's get those. And then just kind of work it in. Try not to squish it, okay? Now it has too much liquid, so we're going to let this reduce down for a little bit. Turn the fire down from extremely high to medium. This is my double burner, so it's, it's a big fire. Cover it up. Let it go for about five minutes. And now take a look at how beautiful it is. Let's pour it out into a nice solid white bowl so that the pitcher can be beautiful. Let me stir it. And then take a look guys gorgeous so I made a garden salad and I found a cucumber we never can find this here in the house because Jada uses it for her beauty you know they say put it on your eyelid stuff like that so um, sometimes I peel the skin off of the cucumber and then cut it like length way just to make it look different in the salad right like this Right here, just cut it lint way. Oh, it's a nice fresh one too, guys. Toss it there in the salad. And then the rest I just cut it. Let me do it on this cutting board so you can see. Just slice it up like that. All right, I'm going to do the rest of it, but I just want to toss it in here to show you guys what we gotta do. Okay, so let me get a serving thing. And I'm gonna get a spoon. So what I have here, what I have here is some leftovers of the ground beef. My goodness, Joshua almost ate all my ground beef. I'm not giving him none of my stuff anymore. So the class that I took on Friday says you have to use a nine inch plate. Now this plate is bigger all the way around, but the serving parts in here, cause it has a little dip. Okay. You might not be able to see the depth of it. So I'm supposed to visually cut the plate in half. So that's half the plate with that, half the plate with the protein. And I know I should be skipping out or switching out to the turkey, but I didn't do that yet. We just kind of started loosey goosey. So that's the protein and then the carb. See our good carb right here? That's with the potato. Let me get more potato. Okay. Take a look. That's supposed to be your plate, they say. Salad, the carb. The carb has some healthy fats in it because of the, um, the olive oil. And then the meat. And this is going to be my lunch today. So let me taste really quickly while I have you guys here on camera let's see how this potato I'm gonna taste it all of this but I'm not gonna double it Ooh, this potato might be hot yeah it is hot okay it's really really good but I could have scaled back a little bit on the curry I think maybe instead of two teaspoons 
do one and a half or one teaspoon. I guess that's according to your, your taste too though, okay? Because for me it was just a little bit, it hit me right away. But I like the way the sweet potato tastes. Mm-hmm. This is a winner. And I don't know if Jory's gonna like it because I don't think he really likes curry, but we could even leave that out of it next time. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go eat. You guys stay safe. And I'm gonna be showing you from time to time what I'm eating, okay? And don't worry, next week we're going to start doing the cookies and the cakes and the muffins and stuff like that for Christmas, all right? Bye, guys. Remember, guys, we are not buying this book. Because if you do, the only people that are making money from that book are my ex-distributor and Amazon. Pick up this book instead. This is my Belizean cookbook. It has 120 authentic Belizean dishes that I've done on the show already, but now you can have it in print so you can follow along and your dishes will come out perfect each time. Hot off the presses, this is my second cookbook, guys. It's called The Pantry Laid Bare, and I named it that because I laid everything on the line when I picked the recipes for this book, all right? 111 delicious dishes from Basic Ingredients. Ingredients. To purchase, just check below on any of my videos and you'll see the different methods of payment and also the shipping. Thanks guys! I don't know what to do with these. I see Jory make them in the air fryer and he does like uh, fries or wedgies, but they come out awful. They're burnt. I'm gonna have to practice. What's wrong? <laughs> I saw him do something like this. I'm like, what's wrong? Let me try my opening again. Is it? <laughs> this is the Bear Pantry Show.